I have been fascinated by the uh, a legend of uh, a great aunt of mine that had um, uh, <clears throat> fallen in love with her first cousin. He had fallen in love with her, but the family ref but on either side felt it was unwise for first cousins to marry for whatever reason and stop, stop the marriage. And both of them subsequently married someone else. She married a riverboat captain, a much older man, had four children by him, and he died, or five children by him. And he died, and she had to move back to this town with these children. And her former sweetheart had married, and he was living in the town and working. And the legend was that every morning she would sit on the gallery as he'd pass by, and they would bow to each other. And every afternoon when he came home from work, they would bow. And... Uh, until he moved away. I was fascinated by that. So in, in Bountiful, which she is this, really the, the inspiration for the central, for the woman, I began to try to do it. I thought a lot about it as the, the day she got married to this man that she didn't really love. And um, it just wouldn't work. I have tried and tried and tried and tried. And I by that time learned that you don't use your will about writing. You kind of just pretend like you don't care. And, <laughs> and I just was obviously thinking about it, but uh, subconsciously or unconsciously. And one, about two days later, I thought, well, try, what, what about at the end of her life? So that incident really becomes a speech on the bus where she talks to this girl and tells her about it. And then um, the whole thing unfolded, and I wrote it very quickly. <laughs>